Hi. Every time I rewatch Twilight, I do get a little bit upset that um, a vampire guy isn't gonna come from my window and bite me and give me immortality. However, there are some people out there who take this feeling a little bit too far. So subscribe because I'm not sure I wanna watch what I'm about to watch. Doing it for you. We are specialized wedding planners. And we also happen to be vampires. I already know I'm not gonna like this. I can already tell. Why does that cat look like a man? Like a human? And like that. This is definitely the most last minute wedding that we've ever done. I've been waiting a long time to spend the rest of my life with this guy. I'm really not sure that if on the most important day of my life, I would want people who think they are vampires organizing it. Real vampires maybe, yes, but people that think they are vampires, I don't know, it just seems like a recipe for disaster. Seems like they're like planning some kind of ritual where they plan the wedding and then they drink my blood, you know? Not to mention it looks horrible. <laughs> my name is Logan South and I am the king of the vampire court of Austin. Not a real thing. Not a real title. You've made that up. Actually, you know what, I'm not gonna go too hard on them just in case, you know, the 0.001% chance they are vampires and they kill me. If you're gonna bite me, turn me, please. I'm just really freaking out about getting there on time, having time to set up, and getting all this done and over with in three hours. Daily's neurotic. I am. I am not. You're saying you're not neurotic, yet you pretend to be a vampire. I'm gonna say that's probably the definition of neurotic. I just a little unhinged, sir. The uh, Vampire Court of Austin is basically the vampire town hall for for all of uh, the uh, the vampires within the, the communities and territories. <gasps> She's had the ear surgery to make her ears pointed. Firstly, isn't that an elf thing? Secondly, I don't know if you can see this. I was born this way. I don't have an explanation. Maybe I'm a vampire. Who knows, that would kind of be my dream. Um, yeah, I guess I can't really hate on them too much. This isn't the kind of vampire I want to be like though. And also, also just putting it out there. They have like the same interests, they're married and stuff. How do you just find, what's the like chance chances of you just coming across someone that also wants to be a vampire. One of them must have had this weird vampire fetish first and converted the other one, right? I just really want to know how that conversation went. We started in 2012. He was already running a couple of uh, smaller scale vampire events just to kind of bring the community together and uh, people saw what we were doing and, and pretty soon people were coming to us saying, can you do weddings? We really wanted Logan Daly to organize this wedding because if anyone knows us better than even our own family, it would be those two. He sounds like he's like faking his voice to sound like corpse. Like it doesn't sound like he naturally speaks like that. It sounds like he's trying to talk like this. Like he's, he's doing it on purpose to sound like more mysterious. I'm like, dude, you sound like a goat. You sound like a goat. <laughs> We have a live-in assistant named Jennifer. She has been with us for four and a half, almost five years, I think now. So like being an assistant to Logan and Daly is fantastic. I love them so much. She was literally saying that like she had a gun to her head. Or like thanks to her neck, I guess. Vampires use guns, I don't know. Almost there. Pale it out, make yourself look a little more undead than usual. You're alive. You are talking right now. You're filming a TV show. I can promise you. You are perfectly undead. Undead? Alive. More undead. More alive. I guess he said look more alive, but more undead. You know what I mean. You're alive! <laughs> Working with Logan on these events is absolutely amazing, but sometimes he's- Wait, so they- there was a fake teeth, so do they not think they're vampires? Is this just like a role-playing thing? If it is, I- that sounds cool, I guess. We had our vampiric awakenings around 15 years old. Vampiric awakenings, not real. It was like a switch flipped on and suddenly there was this kind of change in my perception of the world. It was this almost predatory instinct. So it's not just role playing. I really wanna know when Twilight came out, you know? How old are these guys? I'm gonna do some calculations. Daily, 32. When was this filmed? Daily was 15, about 17 years ago. What vampire stuff is having 17 years ago? Buffy, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I am almost positive that he watched a show about vampires and got a little too influenced. That's my take. I am the calm, logical one who maybe at times can be a, a little too uh, flippant. Relax. His personality is so fake, right? Like it's so forced. He's trying to act like freaking Chuck, Chuck, Chuck Bass. Chuck Bass? How do you say that in my accent? Chuck Bass? Chuck Bass? That doesn't sound right. Regardless, he's trying to sound like him. He's like, well, in his suit. You know what? You know what I'm getting at, right? This whole thing is so pretentious and weird. I hate it. Well, ew, don't kiss. Let's do this. Okay. 
Aren't you supposed to be upstairs being bridal? Nobody throws an event like they do, and we knew they'd be able to pull it off in a short amount of time. That looks better. I've been to children's birthday parties that look better than that. And the upstairs is kind of like a haunted museum, so feel free to walk around. I think the hardest part about the job of being someone's wedding planner is, is that we are someone's wedding planner. When you inevitably either go to therapy or grow out of this and you look back at your wedding photos and everyone looks like a corpse, how's that gonna feel? I'm being so mean today. I probably shouldn't say this in case the vampire's listening, but I think I'm on my period soon. That might attract them, so I'm gonna lock my doors. But that's disgusting. I should stop talking. So Daly and I have always had a polyamorous relationship since we got together. We just had that conversation and we realized oh. that that was what we wanted to do. We both felt this way. We, we felt there was room. Put your tongue back in your mouth. The plot thickens, I guess. There are many layers to this. There is a lot to unpack here. I don't feel like mentally processing it all. I'm gonna put that burden on you. If you don't feel like doing it, then just subscribe. Cause it like, I wish I, I really I didn't have to see that. I am on the asexual spectrum, so I'm not a very sexual person, and I'm very specific about people that I date. Yes, very specific, meaning people who think that they are a mythical creature. The closer it gets um, to the actual ceremony, which is like, what, in 20 minutes, um, I'm a little shaky, I'm a little nervous, but also the more excited I am. Well, um... I have unfortunately chomped most of my fingers to the nub. Ew. Never ever say it. I've absolutely chomped my fingers to the nub. If I heard you say that before my wedding, I'm leaving. I'm leaving you at the altar. I'm, I'm out. Anything that goes wrong, uh, you know, you never know if that's going to be something that just destroys our whole day. This is really weird. And it doesn't even look good. I mean, I guess good is subjective. Don't stop yourself, don't think of it as work. So this man's nervous about getting married and he said, don't think of it as work. Why would anyone getting married think of it as work? I don't think you should be getting married if you're seeing it as a job. Also full moon, werewolf thing, werewolf thing. Come on. He's just a very emotional person. I've uh, been waiting a long time to spend the rest of my life with this guy. I mean, like, you don't have to get married to spend the rest of your life with someone. You can just, like, do it. We ask that you join us this evening in witnessing the union of Roxanne. Also, another question. Is a marriage officiated by a vampire? Does that hold up in a court of law? How does the divorce settlement work? I have a lot of questions. You may kiss your partner. You may kiss your partner is probably the most unromantic sentence I've ever heard. Like, you may kiss the bride. That's like kind of cute. Still a little cringe. The whole wedding thing is just weird to me. But you may kiss the partner. I guess they are dead. They don't have feelings, right? I don't know. Yay. Ah, up. It feels great to be married. At least they seem happy. I'm thrilled with how everything yeah. came together. Whatever. We picked them together. We wanted something that symbolized the fire because of the twin flame connection that we have, so. And it sparkles like a star. <laughs> you know when you're at school and you're like five years old and they're teaching you how to use adjectives? And like, describe the star and you're like, sparkle like star, sparkly like star. And it sparkles like a star. <laughs> Why was that out of everything the thing that just bothered me? Amazing. Um, I was actually extremely surprised by how smooth and how absolutely beautiful everything went. You know what? We pulled it off because we're just suckers for love. Yeah, I'm gonna say, I'm just gonna give that one a no. I don't know why, it just, I guess they have a nice little community there. Not personally into it though. So guys, that was interesting. Let me know what you think of that down below. Or don't, we can just honestly forget this ever happened. Uh, make sure to subscribe to me and go follow my Instagram. I don't have any real reason why you should do that, but just do it. Okay, I've gotta head out. <laughs> should we kiss? No, okay.